Hello, it is Tuesday the 18th of October, day 18 of Vlogtober. Are you getting bored of this yet? <laughs> I have just spent, I, well, first of all, as you can see, if you're aware of what I usually wear as my pyjamas, I'm still in my pyjamas. It is 11 o'clock in the morning. To be fair, I do have jeans on. I just, I'm, I'm dressed from the waist down, basically. I've been sitting here, I got into a zone and I have completely caught up on my Ravelry messages and I've caught up on the Strictly Sock Along chatter thread and the FO thread. So I've had a really lovely morning just drinking tea and getting caught up on all of that. I've been making my show notes. I was going to film a podcast today, my knitting and crochet podcast but I'm just not going to be ready. So I'm gonna to dedicate today to doing all of my YouTube admin stuff. Uh, YouTube, doing what I do, so I work two days a week for a museum and the rest of the time I dedicate to doing my YouTube and my Etsy shop. And that does generate a lot of sort of behind the scenes admin, which is incredibly fun to do, but I wish I had more time to do it. I need an extra day in the week just to do that because, what is that up there? Oh, it's a cobweb. Oh, that's terrible, isn't it? The, the way the light is in here today has just revealed a cobweb just above my back door. I'm going to have to get the hoover out and, and hoover that cobweb in a minute, but that's me going off on a tangent already. I've got a few things I need to say. I forgot to wish a happy birthday yesterday. Let me just check. Teresa Burton, I apologise. It was your birthday yesterday and by the time you're watching this the day before yesterday so i hope you had a wonderful birthday and happy birthday for then and today bianca who is the same age as my phoebe it is her birthday today or by the time she's watching this it will be the day after so happy birthday to you bianca and also lovely evelyn oxner is 72 years young today evelyn you're always there in the comments. It's always just so wonderful to see your name popping up and I hope you have had the most wonderful birthday. Happy 72nd to you. I also wanted to mention a discount. My friend Lily, who is uh, Lily, Lily of Norway, uh, I'll link her shop underneath. She is, I think, closing down her shop uh, and has given me a 50% discount if you're interested. The discount code is VLOGTOBER with capital V and capital T. And that 50% discount is on until this Friday. So that'll be Friday the, oh, so if it's the 18th day, 19th, Friday the 21st of October. October. So make sure you go and check that, uh, check that out. And, I think I'm going to make a third cup of tea. Normally I don't go any more than two cups of tea a day in the morning, but I'm going to have a cup of Lapsang Souchong now because I fancy it. And then I'm going to move on to catching up with Ravelry tags and hashtags and messages of which I've also got behind. And then I'm going to do my show notes. At the moment, my show notes look like this. Two bits of paper with scrappy notes on and then one page with like throw a six to start kind of notes made, which I need to make sense of. And I also need to uh, make sure I know what I'm doing for my Skillshare bit because I'm sponsored by Skillshare at the moment. And I've been doing a really good course, a couple of really good courses, and I wanna work out which one I wanna talk about. Anyway, you don't need to know all that. Just know that it is 11 o'clock. I'm still half in my pyjamas. I'm having quite a lovely morning sitting doing this and I'm gonna drink more tea. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming. It's golden. I'll call it golden. Oh, I can see Perkins. Oh, my word. <laughs> and Rowie. Oh, my word. What has she done? Oh, my goodness me. That's, see it. that's that's going to see you through a couple of months, that'll isn't it? Love through, your nightly Perkins. That'll see me through the weekend. Oh, 
Oh, look We're going to need to clear a space in the freezer. Oh, I'll just clear a space in my belly. <laughs> no wonder it was so heavy. So these, for anyone who's not sure, are Rowies, otherwise known as Butteries. My granny used to call them Butteries. Yeah. They are a kind of breakfast roll. Yeah, they're like a like a like a like a. A high calorie roll that they used they're to give. They're not really to, that high calorie. Well, they're not these days. They used to be, and they used to make them and give them to the fishermen that were fishing in the North Sea off the coast of um, North East Scotland. I I didn't even know that. Your uncle Mike told me that. Ah. So um, yeah, and we I love these. Absolutely love them. And Ali lives in uh, Scotland, and she knows I love them, so she sent them down. We're going to put them in the freezer. So, because obviously you have to eat them quite fresh, but if you put them in the freezer, you can then toast them, and they're lovely, warm. And I know some people don't agree with that, but they have quite a short shelf life. So if we don't freeze them, we lose them, and I would rather eat them warm and slightly toasted than lose them because they're just My granny young. used to eat them warm with butter. I know, but that's because, <laughs> you know, your granny was mad. And these... Are the best Perkins there are available. This was my dad's favourite biscuit, and he used to eat them with butter as well. A couple of these <laughs> in a cold glass of milk. Oh, yes, you got, please. You've got to have one with butter on. That's how my dad ate them. No, just dumped in milk. Yum. Oh, Ali, thank you. Very much appreciated. It does sound good. How is your... Bargain Beyond Meat. What is it? Breakfast bat. Breakfast bat. Um, no, it's hot. <laughs> it's just come out of the microwave, but really tasty. It smells amazing. Mm. So I'm going to go and sit in the front room, catch up on Drag Race UK season four, and stuff that down my throat. That's really yummy. We're doing this again. Yes. And the bargain thing was really good. It was all sold out today. I did have mm. a look. Right. Yeah. I'm going to have the plant-based fiery no chicken wrap and it says here served hot. Dan's just done his in the microwave but I'm going to use the toasty machine and just sandwich it in there for five minutes. It says it is a soy based chicken alternative with vegan mayonnaise, firecracker sauce, coconut oil alternative to grated mozzarella. That's the only bit that I think, mm, <laughs> sounds slightly dodgy. Red peppers, spring onions and spinach in a tortilla wrap. I'm looking forward to giving it a go. Escaped bit. Smells good. Let's go and see what it tastes like. very productive day so far in catching up with long overdue things so you may be one of the people that's got a long overdue reply for me today <laughs> oh sorry about that oh i can't go on talking i'm chopping onions and it's making my eyes really water i'll have to come back to you when i've finished oh sorry about that <laughs> my eyes are still feeling a bit weepy but the onions are now cooking so they're not as uh, potent as they were. I'm making paprika chicken. Uh, it's another evening. Lydia has training again tonight and Phoebe has trampolining. So it's another evening where we just need something that's really easy for people to take a few ladlefuls of and add potatoes or rice or bread or whatever at whatever time they need to. So that's why I'm making that now. And there should even be some left over for the freezer as well. Uh, I'm also drinking some chamomile tea in the hope that that will settle my tummy. I, I woke up this morning 
feeling really, really bloated. And as the day's gone on, even though I've just been sitting, and I've said this earlier, but I've been having such a lovely time catching up and it feels so good to do it. And I have literally just been sitting doing that, but as the day's gone on, I've got gradually more bloated and I just feel a little bit under the weather. Just a little bit not quite right. And I've still got my pyjama top on. I will eventually have to get dressed. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I love chamomile tea. This particular one is from my friend Gaynor, who is Tales from Cuckoo Land. She grew this last year when I had no success in my garden with my chamomile last year. And she had lots of success, so she sent me a nice jar of her dried chamomile. I'm working my way through it. I finished my own homegrown chamomile from the year before. I'm gonna try and grow it again next year. Um, I think I might just, I think the seeds might have just gone over. Sorry, I need to keep pausing to sip my tea because it's so nice. I actually don't have anything to say, I've just realised. I probably did at the beginning, but it's taken me about 25 minutes to get to the stage of actually talking to you and now I'm distracted. <laughs> so, cheers. Cheers to you if you're having tea. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Thank you very much to everyone. I haven't said it in a couple of days, so just thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I've had a few messages saying you're new and I realise that I don't really introduce myself really. I just assume assume people know about me. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a short introduction. So my name is Ali. I am 45. I was born in 1977. Yeah, 45 years old. Has anyone else got to the age where you have to count backwards? <laughs> I'm 45 years old. God. It feels like I just turned 45 minutes ago. And I live in Kent, in the very southeast of England. My husband is Dan, he's in the living room. He's off work sick this week and last week. He was signed off by his doctor because he had a flare up of his ulcerative colitis. And we have two daughters, uh, Lilia, who is 16 and is currently at college, and Phoebe, who is 11, and will be 12 next month and she is currently at school where she's in her first year of secondary school or high school. My mum quite regularly turns up and she's Scottish so was my dad when he was alive so are all my family actually I was the first one in my family to be born south of the Scottish border and we have three chickens Peggy Sue, Hey Hey and Cloud, who are currently bocking up and down in their run looking at me because it's about the time they have their afternoon vegetables, so they're beginning to wonder where I am. And this channel is about just finding the good in every day and not taking those little things that make you happy for granted even when things can get quite hard, which they do, and focusing on the cosy and the simple and the day-to-day -day things that might otherwise pass me by and we have a few days out as well in fact it's half term next week so we're hoping to get to a few of our regular October haunts a few uh, lovely little castles and go pumpkin picking around Kent and Phoebe and I are going to have a day just the two of us in London as well so hopefully I'll be able to bring you along for some adventures over the next couple of weeks and what else to say oh i'm a big knitter big crochet a big crafter and i love drawing and i have another channel called little drops of wonderful where i share all of my knitting and crochet shenanigans and more besides and i talk about books and yarns and so on and every year for six years now five years six years i've run the strictly sock along where we make socks during the strictly come dancing season and it's a lot of fun so if you're interested in that there's a link underneath and thank you to everyone who's made Kofi donations during this October month. That has been so amazing of you. I can't even tell you how much. I know I've said it a million times before and I sound like a broken record, but it really does mean a lot and helps me um, to keep making these videos and, and be here doing this. So thank you very much for that. God, I feel really spaced out. Do I look spaced out? I feel drunk. What's Gaynor putting the chamomile, I wonder? 
Anyway, I'm going to get back to my onions before they burn and stop slurring away at you. <laughs> Got a mixture today of freshly cut cucumber, corn on the cob and some grapes. Mmm. Oops. What have I got for you? Grapes are the big treat. Is that good? Just add water. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I just said to her, lie down, pretend the camera's not there. <laughs> you can't. You can't. When the camera's on you, you have to perform. <laughs> Acting natural. Right, left, right. We're going to be easy in about two peas. <laughs> We are just two peas in the pot, two peas in the pot, two peas in the pot. Put this in the vlog. <laughs> Probably not, this is nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>